Okay, today I have one that has a misfire, and this one's actually a good candidate to, so I can show you a lot of different tests that we do and actually an end result. Because I get a lot of people, they buy a FICM, they say, oh, the FICM didn't fix it, or they try different things. So um, here's a good example. Let me show you some of the, the way I check it. I already started it, verified it. You can hear it running bad. So the first thing I'll do is I'll go to the tank. I'll just open the cap up and smell. If there's any gasoline smell in it, well, we stop there. So uh, it smells like diesel, it's good. You can't hide the vapors when people add fuel on it, so we have it there. The next thing we do here is I'll, um, well, if you don't have a scanner, you can just listen. When I turn the key on, you want to hear a nice, clean of the injector cycle. You don't want it spotty with the because that tells us the pick might be bad, injectors might be sticking. So anyhow, we'll turn the key on, listen and see if we can hear it. I'm not sure how well that. I'm not sure how that's coming through, but it's nice. It's so I don't have any injectors sticking. I don't have a bad ficum, uh, at least as far as what with what I can hear. And also, if you're on the side of the road, or you don't have the scanner. This is what you have to rely on are, is your ears. So I'm going to go ahead now that I have the. Uh, I've checked that out. We're going to check the monitor, the ficum voltage, and the ICP. I'm going to let it connect here. I'm waiting for it to connect. Okay, now that it's connected, I've got the 48 and a half. I'll cycle the key. With the key running, I want to see because that kind of stresses it a little bit. I look at my um, my voltages here. My battery voltage is good. My FICM voltage is actually great. My ICP. Remember, you always want to look at ICP uh, key on engine off because sometimes this can be reading 100, 200, or 500, and it shows you those your percentage all off. So anyhow, now we'll crank it. We'll start it. And my FICM voltage is staying up. You want to raise your RPMs. FICM voltage is staying up. It's doing good. So we're good with that. <laughs> We've got a lot of smoke. So now we have a problem. They always don't smoke like this. Here's another thing I want to show. Because the other day we had one with a uh, compression problem. I was showing a good compression. Okay, this one, if you, when I was cranking it, I don't know if you've heard it or not, but you can hear it. So I'm going to take it here. I'm going to just with a uh, without a key on. I'm going to start it. And if you hear it, you hear the wah 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 wah. wah. That's because we have a cylinder. If all the cylinders were even, the stress on the starter would be consistent, but the battery would have a did -did 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 cranking. But with it doing the... We know we have a base engine problem. So yeah, this one, uh, it's just another example of how, how to check, what to be listening for, what to uh, watch for, and what to check with it. But this one has a base engine, no... There's no need to go any further with this one other than tear down the engine. Thank you.